After a very chaotic 24 hours in Kabul, some are hoping for the best as the Taliban takes control. Five News reporter Michael Wilson joins us live in studio. And Micah, today you spoke with a Fort Smith man with ties to Afghanistan. Erica, I spoke with River Valley teacher Issa Mohamed. He spent the last 18 years of his life in Afghanistan, but before moving to, uh, then he moved to Germany, then to the U.S. He has extended family in the country as well. And after the Taliban's takeover, he says he's not worried. With U.S. troops exiting Afghanistan, scenes like this filled our timelines and TV screens. But for Arkansans like Issa Mohamed, he's not afraid of what's to come next. I'm more at ease to see that Taliban have taken over. To be clear, he says he's not a supporter of the Taliban because of their lack of democracy. In fact, that's why he left the country, in addition to the corrupt leadership. Robbed, literally, the Afghan people of the natural resources, of their freedom. He's hoping they will provide more security to the country now that U.S. troops are leaving. They are going to provide security for the property, well-being, life, and resources of the country. He says he's still in communication with his family, and they say everything is fine. Another local man we spoke with says he's closely monitoring the situation. Everybody's scum, everybody's waiting. What's going to happen? Waiting to see what this will mean for all Afghan people. We hope everybody go back and live in his home, and this country goes back to the international community and we hope uh, everybody live in peace. That was Michael Wilson reporting. Congressman Steve Womack released this statement criticizing the president's handling on the situation. It says in part, right now America is projecting weakness to our adversaries and failure to our allies. Our immediate priority must be getting American citizens and our Afghan partners who worked alongside our troops to safety.